Ta-da! This is how I bend my pipe. This is a hydraulic pipe bender, hence pipe. What we are bending is tube. This is tube. What you make a roll cage out of it is tube. So there's a problem here. The problem is this thing is a pipe bender and I am bending tubes. Oh no, we're on the side of the road. This is usually fairly frightening. measure pipe is from the ID which is inner dimension and they weigh the measure tube is from the OD so an inch and seven H pipe is way different than inch and seven H tube and it sucks because then the dies that come with it don't fit snug on the actual tube which we are bending so what I, had, I did was I made a die and since I made that die, it fits properly and it will bend the pipe perfectly. Again, this took me days to figure out how to do this. I bought this unit and assumed it was just gonna bend my tube, no problem. Ran into this problem right away, pretty much started kinking the pipe. So if you just started using this guy, it'll just kink it right away. So I'm gonna put this as a long story short, okay? It comes with multiple dies, so your tube as your uh, piston comes up, it will bend this, right? So as you can see, this die is large. This is a 50. Moving down, this one is an inch and a half. And this pipe is an inch and seven eighths. And it fits with play. So that's the difference with between pipe and tube. Anyways, this is the one I was using at the first. And it was, it was kicking them really, really, really bad. So what I ended up doing was making one. So this die I made from an inch and a half one, no, an inch and a quarter to inch and seven eighths. So I had to grind. I spent a couple hours just grinding, test fitting, grinding, test fitting, grinding, test fitting. And I had to make it the exact same size all the way down across here to make this work but it does work and it works every time for me. I also add sand into my pipes just so the, the sand actually is pushing on each side of the wall when it's bending. So it's actually holding the circular shape rather than it folding down to flat or kink. I put my die into my press. All it does is clip on. So, and then it has different spots of where you can put these rollers to bend your pipe. So basically, the closer you go to the center, the quicker it'll bend. It'll it'll have a harsher bend. And the further out you have it, the more gradual. I've kept them at three, three up from the, from the tightest, and that's where I keep it. It's just enough so you can fit a straight piece in, and then I just keep going at that. So, and then I get used to it. I get used to how much each pump actually bends the pipe and then there's an adaptation. So I learned the machine rather than changing things all the time. And then it's all just completely guesswork. It is guesswork with this thing. You can't really put a, put a um, degree on anything to, for reference. So it's all by feel. So I just keep it here to keep a good feel. So every time I pump it, it's good. And I have a number of how many pumps I do. This is redneck. This is redneck stuff. This is what we do here. Well, I do here. But yeah. Anyways, here we go. First things first, I'm going to mark up my pipe and cut it. So I've got 26 and a half here. So I'm going to add an inch and a half, which is 28. And I'm going to cut it there because I don't want to cut it too short. So I'm just going to mark it here at 28. Okay, my bend starts at 26 and a half inches up. So here's my pipe here. So here's 26 and a half right there. If I bend it there and make a little bit of a mistake, my pipe's too short. 
So I'm gonna add an inch and a half, which is 28. I've already marked it there, but that's where I'm gonna do my bend. And then if it's long, I can cut it. If it's not, perfect. And then my total length was 46 and a half, following the pipe. So I'm gonna measure up 46 and a half and cut it, and that's my only cut for now until I bend it. There's my measurement. Now it's time to cut, and then we're at bending. Okay, the pipe is cut to length. Oversized, obviously, because we don't want to do this twice. So, the next step is before we put it into this machine, before we put it into this machine, I've got to fill this tube with sand. Yes, I've got to fill it with sand. Why? Because. No questions asked, just because. You got to do it. Because I miss the beach, that's why. I just got to put sand in it. The reason why I'm putting sand in it is because when it's full of sand and I'm bending it, the sand is basically a rock that, or a million rocks that move to what it's in. So like if you put sand in a bucket, it's gonna form to the bucket. If you put a, the sand in this tube, it's gonna form to this tube. So we're gonna be putting the sand in here and then when we're bending it, it's gonna stay in the shape of the tube. And as I'm bending it, it's gonna prevent it from kicking, kinking, which is the goal here because it will want to kink because when you are bending a pipe, it starts out straight and then goes curved. So the top has to lengthen. This piece right here on my finger has to stretch. It's got a stretch to do that. See, see how it's all rippled? Then it stretches out straight. I'm not good at explaining things, but that's just the way she goes. Like, yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's get this thing full of sand. Okay, with a funnel, I use that to put the sand in and I have the end taped so it won't come out. As you see, I've overfilled it, but now I get a good old trusty hammer, tap on the side so it has the sand settle in, and I do this for about 10 minutes, and also push on the sand while hammering on it. It seems really redneck, but if she works, she works. If she stays, she stays. If she bends, she bends. Anyways, I'm gonna do that get the hammer out, get it all packed in there as tightly as I possibly can. The tighter I get it, the better the bend will be. This is actually gonna work. Duct tape the end up, both the ends are taped. They're sealed, they're ready to go. I've never seen somebody making an actual, um, piece to, to put into there. Usually people do lots of heat and stuff like that, but heat doesn't work. I tried heat, does not work. This isn't meant for what I'm doing, but I'm making it work. In my mind, it's the end result that matters. It's not how you get there. If you can jimmy your way there and it's perfect, why not jimmy it all the way there? Okay, so you need two rags, your pipe and your pipe bender and your customized pipe piece to fit your actual 178 um, tube, and then you're ready to go. I wrap this in um, rags here so it doesn't make any marks on the pipe. I've done this and it's worked great. So I always lay mine flat on a level surface. I've leveled this table out to be perfectly level here. So when my piece is in, it's level as well. I'll get to that in the future. Before you put it in, you have to mark where the center of your bend needs to be, and then you can put it in. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be putting my mark towards my left right now, so it should be right there. As you can see, there's my line. Okay, we're gonna be doing this in steps so it doesn't get kinked. This is a hydraulic press, so it can be relieved and pressurized very easily. So since I have my little mark there, as you see while I'm getting my phone light out, that mark, that has to be the pendulum 
of the actual Ben, if that is a word. <laughs> but I'm going to start before that because I'm going to be doing this in steps. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to put somewhere around here where the center is of this actual piece to bend the pipe. So when I start here, I'm just going to bend it a little bit, then move it, bend it a little bit, move it, go, go a little bit more, bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it. So where I start, I have to stop. So if I'm going two inches from the center here, I have to go two inches from this center. To make the pipe bent in the orientation you want. Yes, this is hard, but it saves you money if you want to be doing it yourself like I do. Okay, there's the mark I made, and there's the center. So right in the center of the camera is the center of the die, which is right here. So I'm starting about an inch and a half to the left, so I have to finish an inch and a half to the right. I'm gonna do 15 pumps, and if it gets really hard to tighten it up, I will do less than 15, because if you are forcing things, you're gonna break things. So I'm gonna start there, pump it up, and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna make a mark where the center was, when where I just cut it. As you can see, the pipe is bent. It definitely has a bend in it. That was 14 full pumps. And now I'm going to release it and move it closer to my original line. So I'm gonna probably do one before the actual line and then hit the line and then do two more after that. Then I should be at about a 45 degree angle from my experience. Okay, I just took it out of the bender, and as you can see, there's nothing wrong with that. That looks like it came out of a mandrel bend machine. So, I'm gonna put it in the car and see if that's the angle I need. I think I need a little bit more, but I'd rather do less and then do more later. I just checked it in the car, and I do need to do a significant amount more. So, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm going to do it over the same spot I've already done because it's already formed so now I can re-bend it and it won't kink as well. 